Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a bit of a fun video for me. I mean, I guess it's not very fun because what I'm going to discuss today is all of my dupes in my collection, more specifically my single eyeshadow collection. So, as you might be able to tell here, we do have a whole range of single eyeshadows and um, some of them are Cleona which are quite easy to identify because it's these rectangulars shapes we have some Terra Moons, we have the Pesto Roses and Glam Shop I think those are the brands that I have right here oh no sorry I have also one Sydney Grace eyeshadow but um, yeah I'm gonna go through these dupes because these are the dupes that I found in my collection you know, who knows I might have a couple more but I did recently go through my single eyeshadows collection and just tried to find the dupes and there were more than I expected I have two dupes for most of these, um, as you can see. However, at the bottom here, I do have a couple that have three. Um, also to note, some of these aren't pure dupes. They're just very similar. But I felt like if they were similar enough to show in this video, I would show them. However, when I get to the ones that I don't consider full dupes, I will mention that. But I'm going to go in and uh, just go through these and swatch them out. So if you were looking for maybe some cheaper option for... Uh, more expensive brands like you know Cleona for example and Terra Moons um, or let's say you're in the UK or in EU and you're looking for an alternative for US brands um, maybe this video would be helpful. If not, just enjoy the multi-chrome goodness. Uh, it's going to be very fun to swatch everything out. And yeah, I just going to share some beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows with you. After I film this video I need to make some decisions though uh, to decide what I'm going to keep and if I'm going to keep these duplicates or if I'm going to get rid of them or what I'm going to do but it's going to be so hard because these are some of my most treasured eyeshadows in my collection because they are my just pride and joy. So I'm going to jump into the video but before I do so if you're new here please consider subscribing I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So. I'm gonna put the eyeshadows down here that I'm swatching. Don't mind if there's gonna be like a few sparkles here and there because I know that's gonna be inevitable. But I'm gonna just go through, like I said, and swatch them out. So the first couple we have here are these two eyeshadows. Um, the first one here is from Cleona and it's the shade Noble. It is one of the glitter type of vibrant multichromes and it looks like this. I do have my kind of multi-chrome lighting on so hopefully you can see a bit more of the shifts but I'm gonna switch them out so you can easily see that. And to pair with that I have found this uh, eyeshadow here from the Pastel Roses and this one is in Galaxy Dust. So let me go ahead and swatch these out and you can see what they look like. So here you have those two shadows. I would say apart from maybe like texture they are basically identical. So on top we have the Cleona eyeshadow and on the bottom we have the Pastel Roses one. So you can see they are beautiful. They go from this kind of warm toned pinky purple into a blue shift, like a turquoise blue shift. And there's some gold and lots of things in it. You can see them there. But yeah, these two are beautiful. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick the Cleona eyeshadow just because I prefer the formula. And it's a bit more sparkly. Um, it's not as hard to build up but yeah both of these are beautiful so if you have one or the other i wouldn't say you need the other one but i would basically call these full dupes and my hand might get more and more sparkly as we go but as you might be able to see i do have a tiny bit of staining mainly from the pastel roses eyeshadow so next up we have these two eyeshadows right here the first one is again from cleona and this is one of their series 2 iridescent multichrome which is the shade ray, uh, ray. and this one goes from like a pinky red to a gold as you see there but you will see it better when I swatch it. The second one is the famous Terra Moons Red Giant. This one again is a very similar shift. They are dupes in my opinion so let me swatch them out. So here you have those two eyeshadows. If Terra Moons down here looks like it has a bit more base it's because my hand like I said was a little bit stained but these two again are basically identical. You can see again you can see that pinky red shift going into that peachy kind of gold shadow and almost like a greeny gold at the very end. But yeah, in my opinion, these two are exact dupes. The formula is also very, very similar. Um, so if you have one, you don't need the other. So actually, when I swatched these out, I remember that I have another eyeshadow that's very, very similar. It's not exactly the same. I feel like this is a bit more pink and less like red in it. But yeah, you can see, yeah, they're very similar, but this one is not the exact same. And this one at the bottom here is this eyeshadow from the Pastel Rose in the shade Taurus. So again... They're not exactly the same, but I wanted to mention it. Um, I forgot to put it in the palette, but I added it now. Um, so if you have that one, you know, it gives a similar vibe. You can definitely see this one is a little bit more pink leaning than the other one's a bit more kind of pure red. But again, very, very similar vibes. 
So next up we have these two right here and the first one here is from Cleona again and this one is in the shade Glow and it's one of the glitter iridescent multichromes um, I believe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where the line is from. And then next to that we have this one here which is from Glam Shop. I will not be able to pronounce the name because it's very difficult but you can see it there on screen. Um, this one is the next eyeshadow and these two are the swatches. Hopefully you can see there the shift of going from like a aqua kind of shade into like a, a pink shift um, and yeah you can see it there it's really really pretty I really love these two and I would say formula wise they're very similar when it comes to appearance I would say the glam shop ones feels like it maybe have a little bit more binder in it um, but they are very very similar if anything I would say the top one here which is Cleona it might have a little bit more green in it but yeah it's a very very slight difference so again these two are basically troops next up we have another um cleona and glam shop combination this one here is the shade gleam which is another one of the glitter iridescent multichromes and then from uh, glam shop we have this one here which again i'm not going to try to pronounce i think it's if anything is poswata poswata pos I don't know you can see it right there even though the name is smudged a little bit but those two are the next ones and here you have the swatches of those uh, I would say they are again very similar these aren't as much of a dupe I would say the cloner one takes a little bit more smoothing out um, and this one here maybe takes a little bit more building up so they are like op opposite in formula but they're both very sparkly very pretty this one here at the bottom which is um, which is Glam Shop, might have a little bit more purple in it rather than pink and the it also might also go into more of peach rather than a gold but they are again very very similar um, so that's those two the next one is another Cleona eyeshadow but I'm comparing it to a Paso Rosa shadow this time the eyeshadow from Cleona is this one here which is one of the series 2 iridescent multichromes in the shade Floresque and um, yeah I really love this one, it's stunning and then I'm comparing this one to the a uh, bombshell eyeshadow from the Pastel Roses. They are again very similar, so let me go ahead and show you the swatches. So, here you have the swatches. They are again very, very similar. Again, if I'm nitpicking differences, the top one, which is Cleona, is a little bit smoother, um, but it's also more shiny. And the shift might go a little bit more violet rather than just pink, um, but you might be able to tweak that up there on camera. Um, yeah, both these are absolutely stunning and the shift in general is very very similar again this one might be a little bit pink from what i'm seeing in the shift whereas this one is a bit more violet but you can probably see um the shift quite well there on camera so that is the next two and again i would consider these basically exact dupes so my hand is getting very sparkly i don't know if you can pick that up but i'm going to keep going for a little bit longer and show you a bit more before i wash my hands so next up we have, uh, we're moving away from the iridescent multichromes and we're moving into some more Cleona comparisons. This one here is the shade Eris, which is from the hybrid multichrome line. You can see it a bit there with the shift. It goes from like an orange to pink to a goldy green. And with a very similar shift, we have this one here, which is from the uh, from Glam Shop again. And this one is called Bombawi, I think. You can see it right there. And again, this one is a very, very similar shift. So... Showing you the swatches, here we ha have those, um, and as you might be able to pick up, they are very extremely similar in the shifts. Um, if anything, this is a bit more kind of sheer, and this one has a bit more of a base, but hopefully you can see with the shift there, that the top one, and the, like you can see the shift basically identical. This one might have a little bit more pink in the main shift, whereas this one is a bit more almost copper, the one on top which is Cleona. Um, but yeah, these are very very similar and yeah, I love them both and I would say that due to the formula They aren't exact, but if you have one you definitely don't need the other um, But yeah, this one is a bit more opaque and slightly different in the main color So next couple we have are these two right here We're still on Cleona, but the first one is the shade palace, which is one of the pearlescent multichromes It's a beautiful pink to green shift as you probably will be able to pick up there It's absolutely stunning. It's definitely the most unique one out of those that series and the one I'm comparing it to is from the Paso Roses and as you might be able to see it does have a similar green shift and this is the shade Rainbow so again from Paso Roses and with these two you can see them right here 
As you might be able to see, they both have this pink to green shift. I would say the Cleona one on top might be a little bit more shifty. Um, it green shifts shows much earlier and it does have like, yeah, a bit more kind of nuance to the green shift as well. I feel like this is more, almost like a duochrome, whereas this one has almost like some purpley blue almost to it too. Um, but yeah, they are very, very similar. The other main difference is that the Pastel Roses one has a way di deeper base. So if I do this, like take it out of the light, I think you can see there that this one has more of a hot pink base, whereas the Cleona one on top basically doesn't really have much of a base. Um, or like a, maybe it's like a light, light pink base, but it's more like no base. So I think if you wanted these to be more exact, you could put the Cleona one, which is Palace again, on top of a more pink kind of matte shadow and you will get a very similar effect but these two aren't exact dupes but again they give a very similar effect so if you're looking for something to um use instead of palace the shadow of rainbow from epivasa roses is a good option moving on with uh, cleona versus the pastel roses the next shadow is one of my favorites because it's so shifty and it's been uh, like one of my favorites for a long time and uh, i think it's one of the most underrated shadows as well from cleona and this one is the shade vermilion which is one of their deep iridescent multi-chromes um, i love this eyeshadow a lot and the thing i'm comparing it to is from the pastel roses like i said again and this one is the shadow marshmallow um, but yeah you can see there that it probably has a very similar shift but let me swatch them out for you so there you have the eyeshadows and hopefully you can see that really really hot pink going into that kind of yellow and then green shift. It is so shifty and I love both of these. Out of these two, again the main difference is I think the Pastel Roses one has slightly more of a base. This one is like on a tan base um, but again this one is slightly deeper and formula wise they are completely different. The Cleona one is very very easy to pick up. It's very um, kind of soft and like very smooth to touch whereas the pastel rose one is almost like a bit more gritty it's not as smooth but yeah they are very similar when it comes to eyeshadow but i would say the experience is very very different when using them but if you can't access cleona very easily and you live for example in the uk the shade Mar marshmallow is very similar and a good alternative in my opinion so the next two we have are these two right here we have another cleona and another pastel roses shadow this one here is the shade emblem and this one is one of the electric monochromes which is super cool kind of yes it's so shifty one the electric monochromes are very shifty from cleona i would say it has like a mint base going into like a pink uh, and then like a greeny turquoise going into like a grassy green and then very much and like a gold it's really stunning and i'm matching that with or i'm comparing it to this one here which is from the pastel roses like i said and it's the shadow moon and this one goes from like that pink you can see it's slightly more purple um into like a bright green as you might be able to see let me see if i can pick it up um yeah there you can see so these two are probably some of the most different ones that are compared but i feel like they are similar and that's kind of why I want to show them. But you can see here, this one is definitely more cool tone, whereas this top one here, which is Emblem, is definitely a bit more warm toned. And you can see this one goes into that really, really like bright kind of warm tone green. And it goes into like a gold or like a yellowy kind of shadow too, which I'm not sure you will be able to pick up on camera. And it has like more of a pink kind of shift, whereas this one has more of a purple shift. But this one also shifts into like a green and it does go into like a warm grassy green too but it doesn't go as far into like that kind of yellowy gold but uh, I thought I'd share them anyway because they are very similar um, but in this opinion I don't think these are dupes um, but I thought it would be fun to compare. Next up we have these two here which is Cleona and Terra Moons. The Cleona eyeshadow here is the shade Niello and it is a very shifty eyeshadow. It's very stunning and it's one of their electric multichromes again. So see, these are definitely a winner. I love these electric multichromes. They are very, very shifty. And I'm comparing that one to this, um, what's it called? This Terra Moon eyeshadow in Shattered Stars. And hopefully you can see there that it goes into a very similar shift. Um, and I I think this is one of the is this one of the multi-chromes or one of the eight other shadows? I can't remember. But yeah, this one is stunning too, and it's a very similar eyeshadow. Again, these two aren't exact dupes. I would say that Niello definitely has more shifts to it, but hopefully you can see that they have the same base. Um, and then they go into like the same kind of bluish shadow there, and then like this kind of grayish tone on top. But the big difference is that Niello goes into that really bright kind of 
golden like an anti-gold kind of sh shadow and it has like a bit of green in it too um which i would say shadow stars don't have but um yeah these two are very similar i would say i would definitely recommend the uh, cleona one over the terra moons one but if you want something more subtle the terra moons one is uh the way to go um and yeah otherwise i mean they are very very similar but again i don't think they are exact dupes so for the next two here, I'm a bit worried because I think these might stain, but the first one we have is this shadow here, which is from Cleona, and this is the shade Oreo, which is one of their electric motochromes again. It's a stunning eyeshadow, you can see a bit of the shifts there, I will swatch it out where you can see it better. And the one I'm comparing to is actually one of my favourite eyeshadows from the Pastel Roses, and this one is the shade Spectrum, which is one of the ones that I got for first from them, and it's, yeah, it's a beautiful eyeshadow, I really love that one, so let me swatch them out. So here you have those two. Again, I don't think these are exact dupes. They are very similar uh, and they give a very similar vibe. However, this one here, which is the Pastel Roses one, does have a little bit more kind of green to it. Even in the shift, it goes into like a turquoise, which is, you can hopefully see. I think you can see it right there. It goes into like a, this one is honestly super shifty. It has like a pink base, which they both do. They have a very similar base. Then it goes from this kind of um, I don't know, like gold shadow into like a purple, green, turquoise, yeah, like blue even, like it is so shifty. This is like almost like a rainbow in a shadow. And I'll say Oreo, uh, in this case, actually is a bit less shifty. It keeps like a warm tone the whole way through, whereas this one has that kind of purpley uh, and like turquoise kind of shift this one kind of goes from like that hot pink and then it has like more of a peachy pink i would say and then every shift is very similar to the pastel roses one but it is just slightly more warm toned so not exact dupes but again similar vibes and in this case i actually prefer the pastel roses one now it's time to see how much these two stained so i scrubbed as hard as i could uh, but there's a little bit of stainage but we'll just work around that at least there is kind of even stainage but let's move on to the next two so next here we have these two here, which are again a Cleo and Shadow and a Pastel Roses shadow. So the first one here we have is the shade of Shadow Chalice, which is one of their hybrid multi-chromes. Um, yeah, I love this one. It's one of my favorites again. And then we have this one here, which is from the Pastel Roses, like I said, it is the shade Starburst. Um, and yeah, you can see this better in the swatch, but those two are the shadows. And here you have the swatches. These two are extremely similar when it comes to like the shifts. Um, I would say that when it comes to differences, the hybrid one, or sorry, the Cleona eyeshadow has a bit more of a base again. It has that like, kind of brownish base and it's a bit more kind of texture, I would say. This one is sparkly too, but it's not as textured, but they both go into this kind of pinky, pinky shift. Um, and then on top, you can see this kind of greeny gold shift. The greeny gold shift on the uh, Pastel Roses one is a bit brighter. It's a bit like kind of more green i would say whereas the top one is a bit more gold but otherwise these two are extremely similar and i love both these for different reasons um and i think i mean of, unless you wear these kind of colors every day or if you have like want a really good selection of eyeshadows i don't think you need both of these um but for me they are different enough to keep both and i love these type of eyeshadows so next up we're actually going to move away from the super sparkly multichromes for a little bit uh, because i have these two eyeshadows here these two are more of a kind of typical shimmer formula but they are duochromes and they are basically exact dupes the first one we have here is from terra moons and as you can see i hit pan on this one it was in my panels eyeshadows um and yeah i used it and i hit pan on it there uh this one is like i said from terra moons and it's the shadow cinnamon sugar uh, so that is the first one and i believe this is an exact dupe for the shadow the greatest gift from sydney gray so let me swatch them out for you so here we have those two eyeshadows and honestly i would say the shift is like identical so is the base you can see the base right there hopefully and it goes into this kind of it's really hard to describe it's such an interesting eyeshadow but i would say these are basically exact dupes if there's any difference the terra moves one has maybe a little bit more gold in it whereas this one is slightly more taupey in the shift well like in the main color as you can see there um but these aren't multi-chromes you can see they're more mainly like duochromes and they are very extremely similar. The Terminus one as well might be a little bit more shiny, but again, you don't need both these. I would say these are basically exact dupes. So pick one and see which one you prefer, and I would say go with that one. 
Next up we have these two here which are very 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 similar. I would say these are again exact dupe but I'm going to discuss them when I show you the swatches. Uh, the first one here is from Terra Moons and this one is the shadow Starburst. Um, yeah you can see the shift there. I love this eyeshadow. I love both of these. Um, and they are again extremely similar but that is Starburst from Terra Moons and then we also have Starlight from the Pastel Roses. Again very similar you can see they are extremely similar. So Looking at the swatches of these, there you have them. And again, honestly, these are exact dupes. I don't know how well you can pick it up on camera, but these are basically the same. Texture-wise, I would say the Pastel Roses one is a bit more gritty again, whereas the Terramoons one might be a bit more smooth. But you can see in the sparkle and in the shift and everything, they are extremely similar. You definitely do not need both of these. I would say these are probably one of the closest dupes that I have today. Unfortunately for me, I love both of these eyeshadows and I don't know which one of these I would get rid of because I absolutely love both. Um, so yeah, it would be a hard decision to go one of these, but maybe I will pan one because I would love to wear this eyeshadow every single day. But yeah, those two right there are Terra Moons Starburst and the Pastel Roses Starlight. So the last duo we have before we move into the trios is this one right here. And we have another um, Terramoons and another Pastel Roses eyeshadow. The Terramoons eyeshadow is this one right here, which is the shadow Ganymede. Um, you can see there it's like, it has a green base that goes to a pink to like a gold shift. It's absolutely stunning. Love this eyeshadow. And very similar to that, we have this one right here, which is the shadow Dragonfly from the Pastel Roses. So let me swatch these out. So here you have those two eyeshadows. These two are color-wise very similar, um, but there are quite a few differences in the formula specifically, but also slightly in the color. So the Terra Moons eyeshadow, which is on top, is definitely way more flaky. In the pan, it's also very, very kind of flaky, very um, chunky, and needs to be smoothed out a bit. But the like shine on it, the sparkle on it is unbeatable. I love those kind of that kind of formula from Terra Moons, especially these ones because they are flaky but not too flaky and yeah I love that eyeshadow um, versus the Pastel Roses one is very very smooth um, it needs a bit of building up and it's not as textured and sparkly um, but yeah and it's not as shiny either um, but um, yeah that's kind of like the formula difference when it comes to the shadow difference again I would say that the um, shifts are basically identical. The difference is that the top one here has a little bit more kind of hot pink in it, but I mean, maybe not actually. They ha they are very similar in the shift, but the hot pink is more, um, I think, visible because of the texture in it. Um, so you can see like the peach and the hot pink um, in the kind of main shift, whereas you can mainly see the, the peach one I was saying here. Uh, and same with like, I don't know, same with like the really bright kind of grassy green gold kind of thing at the very end like they both go into like this gold uh, which I don't know how I'm going to show you because you can mainly see the green but yeah it goes into like a almost like a yeah like a pure yellowy gold and that is more visible again in the thermals but I think that's kind of texture make it chill a bit better but these two are basically identical in the color it's just the texture that differs and my favorite out of these two is the Terra Moons. So next up we have the trios, like I said, and the first one here comes from Cleona, and this one is the shadow Grisai, which is one of the glitter multichromes. Um, this one is stunning, I really love this eyeshadow, I haven't worn it enough, but I really do love it. Um, and then next to that we have a Terra Moons eyeshadow, which is this one here, and this one is the shadow Terra Borealis, um, so you have that one next. And then lastly we have another Glam Shop eyeshadow, and this one is the shadow Vegas Biz, so you can see that one there. So those are the three eyeshadows and let me go ahead and show you the swatches because I have them already prepared on my hand. So on top here we have the Cleon eyeshadow and then here in the middle we have the Terra Moons one and then the um, Glam Shop one at the bottom. So again as you can see these are extremely extremely similar. There might be a little bit of a sh like difference in the shift. I would say that Cleona one on top maybe has a bit more kind of I don't know like silverness to it. Um, whereas the middle one from Terra Moons might have a bit more turquoise, like a slightly more green in it. And the bottom one is slightly deeper, slightly more blue. So that's like the difference in the main shift. When it comes to the difference in the side shift, I would say the um, bottom one, which is Glam Shop, is the most different. So I feel like this one has more kind of red to it. And it also has more of a base, if general, out of the three. 
Um, and then I would say this one here is a bit more kind of, I don't know, like pink, like a bit more warm tone pink, whereas the top one has a bit more cool tone pink um, or like purpley pink. But they are very similar and all three of them have this kind of brown base. I think the clear one I want to show here is slightly more kind of pinky, like plummy base, whereas the other two is more brown, where the Glam Shop is the most brown. So there you have those three, again, very, very similar. I would say that my favorite out of these three, it's so hard to pick, honestly. I probably would pick the top two because they are the most shiny and I think also the most dimensional because the bottom one from Glam Shop is slightly deeper and I don't think it shows off the shifts as much, but there you have the next three. So next up we have these three here, which is again uh, Cleo Eyeshadow, which is this one called Carving. Then in the middle, instead of a Terra Moon's eyeshadow, we this time have a Pastel Roses eyeshadow. And this is the shade Dreamcatcher, which is this one here. And then the last one we have comes from, again, from Glam Shop. And this one is the shadow uh, Laser. And you have that one there. So with these three, you have them right here. And again, they are very, very similar. On top we have uh, Carving. Then we have Dreamcatcher. And lastly, Laser. I would say out of these three... Carving is probably the most different, but it's also probably my favorite. Actually, it's so hard to say though because I feel like these two, they they these two are basically exact dupes. I would say both texture and shift wise because on the very end these go more kind of, I don't know. They have they have a bit more of a kind of plummy base to them, whereas this one almost disappears or like it goes into like a pink, but it doesn't quite go into that really plummy shadow and I think it's because it has less of a base which you might be able to pick up if I twist my hand like this and otherwise I feel like all of the shifts I feel like the Cleo eyeshadow has the most kind of bright straight on shift whereas the Glam Shop one has the least but I think it's because the Glam Shop one hasn't been built up as much because I'm swatching all of these without glitter glue or without anything like that and I could just tell that the Glam Shop one just does not adhere the same way as the other two does um, but it might also be because it is a bit older but out of these two, like I said, these two are basically exact dupes, uh, not formula-wise, but color-wise. Um, and then the top one here is slightly different, which is again Cleona Carving, but there you have those three. So the very last comparisons we have are these three right here. The first one comes from Terra Moons, and this one is the shade Musefi? Musefi? I don't quite know how to pronounce that. Musefi, I think. Uh, which is this eyeshadow here. It's absolutely stunning. It's a similar format to Ganymede, where it's that kind of really flaky kind of eyeshadow in the pan and needs to smoothing out a little bit. But yeah, I love that one. Then we have this eyeshadow here, which is from the Pastel Roses, and this one is again very similar in the shift, and it's the shadow Lure. Lastly, we actually have another Pastel Roses shadow, and I'm going to explain in a second. But you can see here, that's this one here, and this one is the shadow Sandstorm. So there you have those three. Let me show you the swatches. So here you have the swatches of those three. And again, you can see they are extremely similar. So on top here, we have the Terra Moons eyeshadow in Musefi. Musef I think so. Uh, and then middle here is the shade Lure from the Pastel Roses. And at the bottom, we have Sandstorm from the Pastel Roses. So again, these are extremely similar. You can see they have a similar shift. And you can see like a greeny gold on camera. From my angle, I can see more of a kind of yellow toned, almost like fiery kind of gold. Uh, and then it goes into like an orange um, and like a really hot pink, kind of which we can see right there. And it does also have that kind of orangey base or like, I would say like sandy base. So with these three, there are quite a few differences. So the top one here, which is Time Moons again, is definitely my favorite. This one is again, most textured, most shiny. I feel like the shift shows up much better in that kind of eyeshadow because it is a bit more textured. And yeah, very, very sparkly. The middle one here is probably my second favorite. And this one is from the Pastel Roses in the, is the shade Lure. This one is not as shiny, but it is, it is like slight, almost on par with the Terra Moons one. I mean, nothing is on par with the Terra Moons ones. They are super sparkly. They're even more shiny and sparkly than Cleona. Uh, but they are, yeah, I, I love Terra Moons, um, especially this one, like I said. This one though is very similar. Feel wise, the Terra Moose one is very kind of soft, very like nice to the touch, I would say. Uh, whereas the 
Um, both the Pesto Rosas ones actually are very dry and they need a bit more building up, but yeah, definitely more dry. Um, and then at the bottom here we have my least favorite, which is the Shadow Sandstorm. This one does not have as much of a base um, and it's also not as shiny. You can see it's almost more of a satiny shadow, but it does have the same shift. So if you don't have any of these, I would probably pick up the Terramus one, that's my top pick. But if you live in the UK and you don't want to order from the U US, out of these two, I would definitely go with Lair and not pick up both of them because they are extremely similar as you might be able to see. So yeah, there we have those and yeah, they are stunning. And with that, we're actually done with the swatches, so let me just wrap up the video. So here you have all my singles again, all my dupes. Um, let me know which ones you think are the most similar and which ones out of these were your favorite. Um, I know this video was a bit different for me because I don't really do this kind of videos very often, but I do want to do more of them because I recently figured out my lighting situation to show shifts and that's kind of what I've been trying to do in order to do these kind of videos. And I have promised for a long time to do more collection videos and I have like for example I have the full Cleona stained glass collection so I will be doing a guide to that or like a swatch party with those like in the future at some point. And I'm also going to do the same with Terra Moons, the Pastel Roses, Glam Shop, you know whichever ones I can like find that I have a couple of eyeshadows from. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do more single eyeshadow videos and it's mainly just because I love watching them and it's also because I want to get to know my single eyeshadow collection a bit better. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I, I just need to get credit because I've been very inspired by Seeking Shifts recently, both on Instagram and YouTube. She recently joined YouTube. So if you haven't checked her out, please do. And if you like this summer video, ma please make sure to check her out because I've been loving her content. And she's also inspired like the background. I'm actually using like a black t-shirt as a background, but I just thought that was a good idea. And I think it hopefully helps with the shift is less distracting. And also it doesn't really, like my ring light doesn't re really reflect as much in the um, kind of table as it normally does. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and yeah, otherwise I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys!